Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. We still don't uh, really know why Swampy wants to take revenge on Frogger. If he does have one, it's an extremely petty reason. Anyhow, we're already a decent ways through the Let's Play. Like I said, this game is very short. We're going back to story mode. We are on chapter 3, Crocs Away. Thus far we have gone through chapter 1, Baby Frog Rescue, and chapter 2, Separate Ways. Yeah, it's kind of weird how, like, last last episode, Swampy, like, kidnapped Frogger and Lily Frog's kids. He tossed one over into the desert and one over into the gold mine to force Frogger and Lily Frog to split up and rescue them before they could chase Swampy. But the thing is, he only threw one frog in each direction, and they've already both found five frogs each. So either Swampy threw more than that, and we just didn't get to see it in the cutscene, or Frogger and Lily Frog are adopting more kids along the way. You decide. Anyhow, let's let's start chapter three. Crocs away. Uh oh, Swampy means business. <laughs> he does not understand how the concept of two. Well, that seems a little unnecessary. Gah. The animation is not dated well. <laughs> okay, so Swampy just went to the local NASA center and boarded a rocket. There's nobody around, and he, he's already in outer space. We're still hanging out in the desert and in, like, the underground area, and he's now in outer space. So, I don't know if we'll be able to catch him. Anyhow, we're controlling Lily Frog again. We're back in the desert. And this, this level's a little interesting, so you've got all of these grindstones moving them all on the ground. Now, those of you who are, who have some age on you will know, like, oh, clearly we gotta step, we gotta step on those squares marked on the ground, and that's how we stay safe, because, yeah, those are the only spots that the grindstones are not able to reach. If we go there, as you can see, the whole, the gaps in between the grindstone wheels means we can't uh, get hurt, but if we're here, we get crushed. And as always, we gotta... Gotta keep up with the coin collecting. Pay attention to which directions the grindstones are moving in. Some of them will be moving right to left, and some will be moving left to right. Gotta keep track of that when you're grabbing the coins. Double super hop up there. Yay, our first frog. You are not the same color as the one that Swampy threw, so... Uh, welcome to the family, I guess. <laughs> oh no, I got hit by the Warthog. Or whatever the heck these fiends are. This is where the level gets a little tricky. We got all these bugs going around. We can just double super hop across the way over here to avoid the bugs, wait for the gap, and then boom. Now we've got a set of moving platforms and some cannonballs. Naturally, we don't want to get hit by the cannonballs. Phew. Actually, I might have missed some coins. Ouch. There may be some coins on here. Or maybe not. Wait for the spikes to retract, and then we can go on up. Got more bugs. These are torches. If we super hop on top of them, we will get burned. Ouch. So you might be wondering how the heck we're supposed to get across there. What we have to do is move into this torch, double super hop over it, and then we can double super hop over here. One of those cool little movements that you can do in this game. Collecting all the coins will force you to think long and hard about your movements. Once again, wait for these spears to retract and then you can walk over them. We got more bugs. Just gotta wait them, wait them out. Cool. All 25 coins. And there we go. We just completed Grindstone. All coins collected and we opened up the new world like Crockwork. Or by, by new world I mean a new bonus level. One of my favorites. Oh, Jim beat this level. <laughs> Jim beat this level in 1 minute 25 seconds. It took us uh, 
more than three minutes in order to beat it because, again, I was explaining stuff and we had to collect the coins along the way. If, you're, if, you're, if it's your first time playing and if you're collecting all the coins, don't expect to get the high scores on any of these levels, really. Alright, this level can be quite annoying. So, for this one, we got th this these nuts falling from here. We basically got to super hop up at the staircase while avoiding the nuts. I recommend doing single super hops, not double super hops. As double super hops have more end lag and it can be harder to stop. This makes it easier to avoid, even if it is a little bit slower. We've got this old bearded, like, monkey or squirrel throwing these. Whatever. There's the first frog. Gonna double super hop over that gap. Then go back. More bugs. Oh, rats. Also, this is very much a speed game. Like, if you know what to do, you can go crazy fast in this game. And you're gonna see that when I actually start trying to get the high scores on the levels. You can slide on down here, get on the monkey's platform. I just... I think... I think that's a monkey. Or so, I don't actually know. It might not be a monkey or a squirrel. He doesn't have a squirrel's tail, so I'm going to assume he's a monkey since he's making kind of monkey sound effects. Now we're going to slide down on this side as well. The bug can't reach us all the way over here. We're going to wait for him to turn around and double super hop. Grab that coin. That gap at the bottom there was too wide, so we can't go across. And now we can grab the yellow frog. Staircase with some bugs on it. You can go back and super hop if necessary. Make sure you get grab the coins as needed, and you can always, again, super hop up the stairs if you miss one. And this is pretty simple. The warthogs will move between the two blue tiles. <laughs> these, uh, these tree branches open up, and then... We can slide on down this beautiful tree slide. And now we're in the depths of the pyramid. So you can see kind of how the trails are marked out on the ground for the bugs. Rats. Sometimes the camera don't want to show me what's ahead. Oh. Did you guys see that? Oh, darn it. If you double super hop into a wall, you're not really going to slow down all that much, so... I got too greedy. If you hold the enter key, if you hold the super hop button, then you can very slowly descend to the ground, and that can be really useful to buy yourself some extra time if there's something undesirable that's on the spot where you're about to land. Purple frog, now we gotta cross the river. And we can use the alligators and barrels to help us. So I'm gonna chill out on this barrel until... There we go. If I had boarded the alligator earlier, he would have just driven me right through there, which is instant death. So now we're in this final part where we got these different pieces of the wall moving in and out. And we gotta collect the coins. Now there's actually a secret room here. We're missing free coins. If we keep going to the left... Uh, when we're on this special square here. Well, okay, I went too far. I thought you had to go a little farther into the wall before you got that teleport. Okay, I thought I timed that right. I am on my last life. If you are impatient, you can also double super hop onto the barrels, but that's a lot riskier. Like, a lot riskier. But you can do it. And once we're in here... Gonna carefully maneuver around that bug. Get an extra life. Grab our last two coins, and there we go! That was Pyramid Climb, and the desert world is now over. We got all the coins and we collected a new level, Frog Jam. Oh, Matt! Stupid Matt, wait a second. 
So my time is at the top. So I took 4 minutes, 28 seconds, and 70, uh, <laughs> centiseconds. And then Matt did it in 2 minutes, 20 seconds. Um, does that mean I just happened to get exactly 3 minutes down to the hundredth of a second on the last level? If so, then that's actually nuts. But, <laughs> wow. Alright then. <laughs> nice job, Lily Frog. Off to the next chapter. Oh no. So Lily Frog now arrives at the same two buttons. She arrived at the same NASA center that uh, Swampy went to. But she doesn't have a, a baby frog to bash into the other button, so she's just kind of stuck there. She's, she's, she does not have a wide enough stance to hit both buttons at the same time. Anyhow, now we're back to Frogger, and whereas Lily Frog was just in a desert world, Frogger is in an underground world. We started out in the, the gold mine, now we're in an ant nest here. And despite us being, well, bigger and a frog, who eats bugs, we can't actually eat the ants here. In fact, they will eat us. Then we got these creepy spiders here. Do not let them touch you. If they do, they will, like, make you swell up and then they'll cut you in half. It's kind of disturbing, actually. Anyhow. You can move on up here. You can also wait in this indent for them to go alone. And also take it a little bit faster. I do love the music, though. There we go. First frog. Ants are now carrying stuff. Ooh, let's get on this cheese wedge. Okay. We want to get that coin up there. So we gotta wait for an ant to be carrying something. Darn it, we keep missing it. Ooh. There we go. That was a close one. That can be a tough coin to grab. I, that was the wrong button. Alright, so we gotta let the ants carry us for a bit in order to grab all the coins. Spider moving along at the bottom. We can just super hop over him. There we go. Grab that coin, and we're gonna follow the ants into this area. Takes us to a secret area that has a bunch of extra lives for us. There are no coins in here, but it's still a nice prize anyways, and it takes us back here. If you don't pick up the coin in that inlet, and then you go back out, you'll be on top of the coin, but you won't collect it. Which is funny. Ooh. That coin is oftentimes a suicide mission. Not always, but oftentimes. Just leave the ants be, Frogger. That was a bug pun. Grab ourselves that extra life. No, I, I do want that coin. Thank goodness for the coin's slightly larger hitboxes. That thing is a weird one. I think... I don't know what kind of a bug that is, but I think that's like a stag beetle, maybe. Or like a dynasty beetle from Animal Crossing. They make weird sounds. And they will grab you if you get too close. Oh, it was nice of the ants to carve out an, an arrow to telling us which way to go. Not like there was any other way to go, to be honest, though. Again, the Frogger 2 levels are quite linear compared to the Frogger he's back levels. More ants. Super hop over him. Alright. Now we're at the end. We got all these ants carrying these uh, leaves down here. What the heck? I just jumped through the coin. There are also some more coins back here. Cool! All the coins! Now we're at the end here, we gotta watch out for these pincer bugs again. Oof, that's a weird sound effect at the end here. The ant's nest. We got all coins, and we have a new bonus level, Gridlock. Nice! Ow. Oh. Phil of the Future has a two-minute <laughs> world record time limit on this level. It's not actually the world record, that's just the time you gotta beat to get the gold trophy, which obviously we want to do later on. Yeah, yeah! Again, love the music in this in this game. The graphics are fun, and the levels are honestly pretty fun as well. They're, if a bit linear. And Frogger's just so happy that we beat the level! Oh, look at him. He's, he's so happy. 
All right, and now it's time for the last level in Frogger's World. All the, so we started in a gold mine, then we went into an ant's nest. Now we're in a volcano, an active volcano with lava everywhere. Talk about a jump in scenery, but it's technically still part of the underground world. But this is where the difficulty starts ramping up. You don't want to step on those volcanoes when they are igniting, or else Frogger will burn his behind. And there are these platforms over here that will disappear when we step on them. You can step on those volcanoes when they're not erupting. And then these enemies, I have no idea what the heck these things are. These are like weird prehistoric like cephalopods that are, ugh. I don't know what they are, but I hate them. They are disgusting. All right. This part is fun. We got fireballs going <laughs> over in this area. And if you'll notice, yellow frogs up there. So we're not allowed to skip. So we gotta time this, jump on these platforms, and then <laughs> alternate going up and down across them. It looks more intimidating than it actually is. The way back is honestly almost worse, because you can't go too fast or you'll run into the fireball, as I will demonstrate. So if we go down here, we ran into the fireball. So we actually have to go back at a fast enough pace that we don't land on these falling platforms and go into the lava, but at a, fast, but at a slow enough pace that we don't run into the fireballs. And we got more of these, like, ugh, primordial slug things gross. What are they doing in an active volcano? This is ridiculous. Double super hop over here. Grab ourselves some more coins. This part we got a bunch of fireball meteors just flying at us. <laughs> the fireballs are not messing around. And again, we can't, so we can't just jump on top of the blue frog from here because we will splat and die. So we need to wait for this platform to go up here and then walk down on it. So now we've got these uh, meteors slash fireballs that are bouncing up and down. These little platforms here with the circles on them are places where they land because the circle is a burn mark. And those cracked platforms will, you guessed it, they will disappear if we step on them. So for this one... I'm gonna wait for that guy to go by. Solid platforms are just solid, so that's fine. And we can also pick up a quick hop here if we want. Again, quick hop doesn't seem to do much because you kind of just permanently have quick hop. I don't know what the heck these things are either, but again, I don't like them. Frogger fell in the lava and he turned into a pile of ash. Sorry, that's just how it happens. What the heck are these things? I am very glad that this is not a high graphics game, because these things would probably be nightmare fuel if they uh, were in high, high quality graphics. So we hop up here, grab the last two coins, and bada beam bada boom! And that is the Lava Palaver. All coins collected, we have a new bonus course driven back! I can't believe I got beaten by a conjunction. Yep. The conjunction and just got a 1 minute 45 second time on this level, so that's going to be the time to beat, I guess. Uh, that ends Frogger's World of the Underground area. Yeah, the garden is really only two levels if you count the tutorial level. And then we have the desert and the underground level. So now we're going to have two more worlds in the next episode. Actually, I think the yeah, the next episode will cover the next two worlds. The next two worlds are a lot tougher a lot bigger, and also are going to have some bopping music, as is per the norm for Frogger 2. But that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie, and yeah, definitely tune in for the next episode. The level's going to get good, and they're also going to get tough. So, it's going to be fun. Have a great day, everybody, and God bless.